Welcome to Galaxy Advisors. The purpose of this video is to explain how to run Condor on Amazon Web Services and specifically how to use remote desktop connection for a PC or Part 3B of 4. At this point, again, just to re, um, cover the major steps, there are four major steps on how to run Condor Amazon Web Services. Uh, specifically, you've already completed, you've signed up for an Amazon account, you've logged into the Amazon Web Service Console and set up a server and launched a new instance. And now we're at step 3B uh, because you're a PC user and you want to set up remote desktop connection. So if you're a Mac user, you can stop this uh, video and go back to uh, find 3A. But this uh, specific video is for PC users. And then our fourth and final step after this 3A will be to set up Condor by installing all the required software listed here. And then you'll be in a position of running Condor on Amazon, on Amazon Web Services with remote control on your Mac or PC. So uh, conceptually, remote desktop connection for a PC, an application is going to look like this. And in essence, what it does is allow you to use your um, PC to remotely connect to Amazon Web Services and control that server. So, how do you uh, use remote desktop connection for a PC? Well, it depends on what flavor of Windows you have. I've listed here the uh, relative um, links, the specific links for Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8. If you go to the YouTube, if you click on um, Show More, uh, there's kind of a listing of the description of the video, and I included all these links because they're quite long. And although you can just pause here and type it in, but um, I suggest that you just pause the video and go show me and copy the link and paste it in for your particular uh, version of uh, Windows. And note, um, I've also tested, at least on XP, and my colleague Peter Glor on Windows 7, uh, that it runs on Parallels or VMware. So you can actually, if you're on a Mac uh, and you're running Parallels or VMware, um, this does work on your Windows side of your computer. Now I'm going to explain uh, Windows XP as the example here. Again, um, see the specific instructions for Windows 7. Or Windows um, 8. So if you're on Windows XP, um, click the Start button, then um, click All Programs, and then Find Accessories. So you're kind of going from the bottom up here. And then once Accessories open, so a drop down box will open up, and at the very bottom, you should see Remote Desktop Connection. And that's the um, application you want to click. Um, and then, uh, in the meantime, just recall from the previous step that you have a computer name and password for Amazon Web Services. You want to go get that right now. And um, copy and paste that um, computer name, which is a kind of a very long name, into um, the box here for a computer. And then simply click Connect. Uh, at which time an application will start and ask you to enter your Amazon Web Services password that has been decrypted um, or unencrypted. So place it in here, then click the um, next um, arrow there. At which time this server is connected to your Amazon instance running and you have remote control from your PC to the Amazon server. To uh, close it, uh, notice in the traditional upper right uh, corner, uh, just click the X and a window will open asking you to disconnect the terminal search session. So that's really it for how, if you're a PC user, to set up remote desktop connection. Again, if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, I suggest um, you go um, look at the detailed instructions, which are very similar of Windows XP. Our fourth and final step is going to be set up a Condor by installing all the required software, which is in the fourth and final video, at which point after you complete that, we're almost one lap to go, you'll be able to run Condor on Amazon Web Services with remote control from your Mac or your PC. Again, welcome to Galaxy Advisors.